Hi there, Holly Hicks here from Fluid Movement and Wellbeing. Thank you for joining me today for another part of the Explore series. Uh, today we're going to be doing some work on the shoulder. This is called the teacup drill. This is a big thank you to Sheree Sito from Sydney Stretch Therapy. Um, this is just a really lovely uh, little drill that you can do just to get those shoulders warmed up if you're feeling a little bit stiff and sore in that area or just want to kind of see and just check where you're at today with your shoulders or just make them feel more comfortable generally. So um, I found using a ball, some sort of ball, doesn't matter what size it is. You can have a bit of a play with different size balls. I've got a trigger ball, which is about the size of a tennis ball. And we're just gonna work the shoulders using the ball. So the idea is we're gonna be making big circles and rotating around and trying to keep the ball. <laughs> so rotate the two circles that we're doing. All right, so we're going to rotate around one direction, make one circle as we come around our head. We're rotating around and making another circle like so. So to start off with, it's just a matter of exploring that range and how that feels for you today. And then as you start to get the hang of it and can feel a bit more coordinated with it, which can feel really odd at first, you can start to have a bit more of a play with the direction. So you can reach maybe over your head and reaching around that way. You might come more toward, more behind you. And go drop the ball, like so. So you're really just seeing and exploring all these different ranges of your shoulder. So we're looking at working those rotator cuff muscles through the shoulder, looking at those Internal rotators, we're going to change direction as well. Internal rotators, external rotators, all those muscles. <laughs> so when you change direction, you can do big circles, little circles. Really have a good play with different directions. So originally, and change hands. So you go try and think of how to go about it on the other side now as well. I find coming with the, of the head a good start. So I can already feel the difference that my left side here that I'm doing right now is a lot more restricted. Not painful, reach behind, not painful at all, but just it feels like I'm having to use my wrist a lot more to hold the ball as opposed to the mobility that my shoulder currently has today. So we're going to reach behind, around in front, and have a bit of a play with where you feel like you need it more. So maybe practice some like really in close ones, or try some further away, really reaching behind. That one feels nice today. And try the other way. Coming up around the head. Some really nice, big, exaggerated circles, and then some close in. So if you do have any restriction or discomfort in through your shoulders at all, this is a really nice one to do as a warm-up. You can, this is safe enough to do every single day. Um, you can do it a couple of times a day. If you're working at a desk, it's another really good one, maybe for your lunch break. And you can spend, you know, five, ten minutes easily just on, and change direction again, just on having a play with the different directions and the movements. If you don't have a ball or anything, doesn't matter, you can still do the action. It's, um, it doesn't matter. Okay. There you have it. There's the teacup drill. Fantastic shoulder mobility exercise. Um, if you subscribe, you can get these videos. This is part of the Explore series, which is a way of um, just checking how you're going. Some great little um, modifications, variations, mobility work to improve your move. Um, you can find Fluid Movement and Wellbeing on Facebook. And make sure you subscribe to my weekly newsletter where you make sure you can get all these videos um, straight to your inbox.